My name is Dave Shunky, and I'm the captain of the Fish Circus team. I put this team together for one reason, to win tournaments. And together, we've won thousands of dollars in prize money. Fish slap. <laughs> our team may like to joke around. Fish slap. But we always take our fishing seriously. Fish slap. No. Oh. <laughs> Why am I involved in this stupidity? Rob's my brother-in-law, and he's also my right-hand man. When it comes to leadering a fish, there's no one I'd rather have. I'm good, right there. He's coming to me now. Chris is Rob's brother. He can reel in sharks like they're goldfish. Jerry is the oldest member of the team. Huh. But that doesn't mean he gets the most respect. I love the guy, but he can really be a thorn in my side sometimes. Fish slap. <laughs> and finally, there's Jerry's brother, John. Let's just say he likes to think outside the box. There's some good looking stuff here. Some carrots and onions and celery, and you got a stew. I'm trying to get my team to the Bahamas so we can do some pre-fishing before our tournament next week. But this weather is not cooperating. It's a 50-mile trip to the Bahamas, and there's a major storm coming. If we can't get out of here safely, we're just going to have to wait till tomorrow, and Jerry's going to have to respect my decision. Come on, Chuggy, let's go. I don't think we should go, Jerry. I don't think so. The front line's right here, man. Let's go. I don't now. think we're going to beat it. Now, yes, we're we are. We're not going to beat it. We're Jerry, in front of I, it. Jerry, I think this is a bad idea. What do you Look, think, Rob? That's right. Wait any longer. It's going to be honest. Let's go now. Come on, let's go right now. We got snacks on the boat. We got everything. We're loaded up. Snacks? That's the worst argument I've ever heard. It ain't nothing but a little bitty storm. Dave is a worry wart, and I'm like the stuff that gets rid of warts. All this time we spent arguing, we could have done been in the Bahamas getting our hair braided. We've been in much worse. Come on, man. While I may not agree with Jerry, I'd rather take my chances with this storm than listen to him complain for the next 24 hours. We're going for it. I mean, how bad can this thing be? We made it to the Bahamas safely, and everybody's in good spirits, including Jerry. It may not be raining anymore, but the wind is starting to pick up, which could be a problem. Jerry, hold up. I brought a local. Local's going to help us. You're throwing a dart at a dartboard right now. This is Scott. Scott, that's Jerry, and that's Rob. Hey, pleasure hey, to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you. Rob, Thank you for the help. So we were going to try and go to Memrock, but I don't think that's going to happen with a blow in 25. So where would you suggest? There's one down this way, about five miles or so, called Dead Man's Reef. That would be a good starting point. A little bit offshore of that in your, you know, 30 to 50, 60 foot area. So we're going to come right on out of here yep. and head just head south, what, about seven miles? We're Jerry, on the next boat, we're going to get those 24-inch uh, screens for you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm afraid you're going to bunk your head off the screen. Man, come with me, sir. <laughs> We're going to work our way right on around here. OK, right here. Really? This is our navigator? Thank you, Dave. Well, well, Jerry, mark All right. that. Let's get All right, going. let's yeah. do it. Hey, Scott, thank you. Man. Appreciate, man's it. It. Let's let's do it. It. appreciate it. Thanks, thank Scott. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Good? Ready? One, two, three. Based on locals' knowledge, we're going to Dead Man's Reef to catch some bait fish that we can use later to catch sharks and really test out our gear. How do you drive and, uh, and read the charts at the same time? I, I lean forward and pick my head up. Why do you have to be so close? I have to see it. Because he, he don't have bifocals in them. Oh, much clearer now. Jerry doesn't need bifocals. His focals went bye-bye a long time ago. Is it ever calm when we come out? Do uh, we ever catch the weather break? Nope. Yeah, we do, and then we don't catch fish. I just feel like it's never calm. Just dancing, just dancing. Just our luck. We finally get to the Bahamas, and it's windier than a Chicago winter out here. Unbelievable. Winds, oh my god, stop blowing. Terrible. It's making everything impossible. For 10 minutes, I want the wind to just stop blowing so I can do something without having to fight it. <laughs> Jerry, all we're doing is catching bait so that we can have them to put down for the groupers and the bigger fish, all right? Catch your bait. Just getting bait. Bait. Who needed a bait? There's a nice one. Captain Dave said, catch bait. That thing is huge. You got another one? We need more bait. I'll catch some bait. Hey, I'm catching bait. You got one? All right. No, he's got the bottom. Hey, just reel it in and we'll walk home. 
<laughs> catch bait all day. No, Chris is catching bait. John's drowning shrimp. I'm gonna start handing the rod off so I can get some footage of you guys. Come on, Chris. I'm perfectly capable of catching my own bait. Get out of there. God, dog it. Shark ate my fish. Well, at least Rob ain't catching fish either. Here, I'll get it for you. You ready, Jeff? Where did my fish go? Right over the side. You said, would you like me to help you? That's what I said, yeah. OK. I can handle Rob catching fish. As long as Dave doesn't catch one, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Catching bait is drunk's work. I'm going to catch his dinner. Yes, sir. Supposed to catch bait, not dinner, Dave. That's some good eating there. Dave got him. Ah! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Fish with an angler. You got yeah. him. Dave's got something big on his line. Get a crank. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's basically doing it. Looks like our luck's starting to change. But just because you got a fish on your hook doesn't mean you can get it in the boat. Oh, this guy's beastly. That's 35 pounds drag, dude. That's 260 pounds of exhaustion. There it goes. Yeah, that's a king, Rob. That's a king. King. That's a kingfish. This is great. King mackerel is perfect shark bait. Yeah, he's not ready. <laughs> he's not ready. I think somebody just woke up. Here he comes. He's not done. Come on, Chunky, get the fish in here. Jerry, you have to be gentle with your fish. You must finesse your fish. Yes, yeah, it's you, Mr. Finesse. Yeah, Robbie's about to finesse him right in the boat. Nice job. Nice. I'll take that one. Nice She's keep. a keeper. We're going to keep it for bait, right? Yeah. I'd say he's 25, 30. Yeah. That's some good eating right there. For you. For the sharks. All we need is a few more like that, and we'll be ready to go after some sharks. I knew they didn't like that color. Cuda. Keep him, Winnie the bait. Oh, cool. Rupert bait. Why does he always have to bite the bait rod? The biggest fish always bites the bait rod. And it's a mile out there. Yeah, I gotta go up. I gotta go up. Watch out. Come through. Woo! That's a big fish and a little rod. Look, it looks like a missile. Whoa, that was almost your forehead. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. OK, we got plenty of bait. I think it's time to go to a new spot and test out our gear on some bigger fish. When you're on a boat with a bunch of guys, there's a lot of downtime, and you end up learning a lot about one another. Oh, we eat no soy product. No soy. And, and this is before I knew it made you go breastless. How much soy do you eat? Do you try to cut it down? Yeah, I mean, I eat, like, you know, soy sauce. You eat tofu? Hell, oh, what? Do I look like how I much, eat tofu? How much tofu have you had lately, Rob? A whole lump of it. I don't even know how else. Uh, I don't even know how it comes. Speaking of tofu, how about tofu? Look at that thing. <laughs> there is something growing in there. Wiggle it, wiggle it. <laughs> wiggle it. Eat tofu. <laughs> it's the way I'll be John's foot is so ugly, it looks like he kicked the bottom of a lawnmower. <laughs> look at all that toe jam in there. All right, come on. Let's get anchored up. Dude, right, come on, enough, enough. Let's go. Come on. Want to see him one more time? No, not really. Jerry, what happened to your brother's toe? He shot his foot. With what? A shotgun. What was he doing? Climbing the fence. He went over with the shotgun in his hand. He come, started coming down the other side. Boom, went off. Only a guy like John could shoot himself in the foot. I've known your brother for four Good years. Man. I've never seen that little tiny midget toe he's got. Where you been? I'm not looking at John's feet, all right? Hey, you know if you had I mean? that toe, would you run around showing everybody? <laughs> hey, hey, it wouldn't be off balance if you didn't have it. You got all your toes? Yeah, I got all my toes. Well, why the hell are you always falling down? Hey, look, man. I'm just saw him saying. I got... What? I got my toe in the cooler. Are we anchored up? It's a lot calmer over here than it was on the reef. It really is, ain't it? That wouldn't calm down big time. It's unreal, isn't it? It uh, was honking this morning. And now it's slick. Let's actually test what we need to test. OK. So let's take those barracudas and those kings that we caught okay. this morning. OK. Let's cut them up. Let's get those ready for bait. Rob, gotcha. Chris, All right. let's get the Talica 50s. Let's check the drags. I want the drags set at like 40, 45 pounds. Let's really put it to them. I want to make sure that these things can handle what we're going to do this year for the tournament season, all right? This is why we're here, to test out our gear on some monster sharks and see how we work as a team. 
Hey, Rob, let's get the Talica 50s unbuttoned. The boys may not look like it, but they're a well-oiled fishing machine. <laughs> you got to hold it with your teeth. <laughs> Most of the time. Ah, man, 45's a lot of drag, man. If you're hooked to this, it's going to pull you straight in the water. We got to make sure all harnesses are set right, because I don't want to have anything happen to one of these guys. We're preparing for our up-and-coming tournament season, so we need to make sure every setup is dialed in. Where you at? 44, go up a little bit. 44, I'm going to crank it up just one or two. There's a lot of money on the line. One little mistake can be the difference between our team winning and losing. What do you at? 45, perfect. Thanks. Perfect, all right, cool. What do you want first, the king or the cuda? I think we'll get the cuda first. All right. I'll just cut that cuda up right there. While me, Dave, and Chris are getting taco ready, John and Jerry are in charge of cutting bait. You ever eat one? How, you want me to fry you something up right now? I'm a little worried, though. John and Jerry are from Virginia. <sighs> Look how pretty that's going to be. I know, it tasty, tasty, tasty. And those southern boys, they'll eat anything. That looks nice. Look how white that meat is. Mm-hmm, all the white meat. I think you Barracuda. can eat it. I'm just afraid they're going to eat all our bait. That looks good, huh? It is white meat if you look at it. Hey, man, fish is fish. It all tastes good when you fry it and dip it in hot sauce. Man, I would eat this right now. I would put this in the oven, a little tomatoes, a little Old Bay on mackerel. Those Jersey boys, they don't know what they're missing. Where I come from, this is a delicacy. They do not eat it. They don't know what good fish is. Huh? Yeah, they think it's trash fish. Yeah. Look at the yellowtail, man. Let's get him. Get him out of there. <laughs> More bait. We got supper in our supper, man. Supper's in the supper. You can eat him, too? Yeah. Look at him. He looks good, doesn't he? No. He already got to eat once. You're going to eat him again? Yes. Yeah. No. Why not? What's he's eating? I ain't eating him. Did you just hear him? <laughs> what did he say? He said ain't. Ain't? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say next, Robbie? Y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Ain't y'all fine? Go ahead, Robbie. Ain't y'all fine? Ain't y'all fine? It's Chaw. Chaw. Ain't, ain't y'all fine. fine? Ain't y'all fine? Try it, Robbie. Got Try it. Chaw. Wait, Chaw. Is it ain't Chaw? Yeah. yeah. Is it y'all? It's Chaw. Ain't y'all fine? But we're talking y'all. Sometimes I think those guys are just making stuff up to confuse people. Ain't y'all fine? It's homemade. Jerry, wine. what are you doing? We're calling Call in the shark, man. buddy. No, Call really, what are you doing? How are we doing? Calling in the shark. Calling in the shark. These Virginia boys have their own way of doing things. And while I appreciate their ingenuity, waving their hands over shark-infested waters is not the smartest idea. Is that better, Dave? Much better. A little rhythm to it? Let's just hope John doesn't lose a finger to match his toe. Ain't y'all fine? That's homemade wine. Ain't y'all fine? If you're homemade trying to call in the sharks, maybe you should stop singing. Yeah. Why? Why? They love noise. You're right, and that is noise. They love noise. That's not singing, that is Ain't noise. Ain't y'all fine? It's only one. You two are making me crazy. We are making you crazy. Crazy. You are already crazy. <laughs> Ain't y'all fine? It's homemade wine. It's homemade wine. It's homemade wine. Well, we've caught our bait fish, and now we're ready to reel in some sharks. Let's just hope they're biting. What you got, Chris? I don't know. <sighs> Something with teeth. Gave somebody a new lip ring. I hate to admit this, but the Harris Brothers redneck singing has really paid off. There's friggin' sharks everywhere. Hey, pal, Jerry. <sighs> Ay, yeah, yeah. Got sharked. Shark said, I'm gonna take all of you. You leave you more than the lips? Took it all. He ate my group. Too bad none of my guys can keep him on the line. Get him out of the hole, John. Don't <sighs> let him take you in the bottom. Oh, they got me. Shark ate my fish. I knew it, you son of a. Holy, oh, got bit off. I had that live uh, yellowtail on there. <sighs> oh, that's him. That's, that's him. him. That's... Ah! Why does he bite that and not this? Lost fish after lost fish after lost fish after lost fish. We need to step our game up. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> what is it? Shark. <laughs> nice job, Jer. Gets to swim again another day. Nice release. Good release, Dave. It's only a nurse shark, but it's a start. That looks good, John. Shark. Shark. Shark! shark. Big old nursey. Help him out, Rob. 
Get the hook out, Robbie. There we go. Thank you, Rob. Good job. Hey, Robbie, that's set for 40. Let's get it past that. Put it all the way up. All the way it goes. It's all the way up now, Dave. All right, good. Another shark. You're off it. You're off the motor still. You're on my shoulder. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, go up and over now. Good. Never touched it, Rob. You ready? Got it. You got it. Good job, Dave. That shark didn't do anything to that rod and reel. If every shark we catch on that rod and reel tells us more for those tournaments. I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. If we want to catch some massive sharks, we're going to have to change our tactics. John, can you cut me another chunk with a piece of skin on it, please? Yes, sir. Yeah, can Thank I you? have one too, John? Nope. <laughs> John, will you put your eye back in? Enough's enough already. Is he my eye? That's a big eyeball. John, give me a piece of bait. I just did. What'd you do with the eyeball? Yeah, I don't want that. I got him. I got him. All right, let me get you your belt. Just you gotta get my lower part yeah, of my yeah, belt. I gotta, I gotta, go ahead. Just move forward a little bit. Hurry up, hurry up. Not on this side. All right, you're on. Does it feel good? Feels good. All right, good. He's got some weight to him. Now, this is what I'm talking about. How's that drag feel, Chris? Too much, too little? No, it's good. It's good. He hasn't pulled anything yet. Chris is young, strong, and a damn good fisherman. When we have these big sharks on the line, he's the one I want reeling him in. We got color. He's right here. Coming up. Clear, John. Watch that rod. John. Coming up. He's going under. Nope. He's going over it. Nice. Perfect. Uh, oh, no, now, he's now he's going under. He said, if I get under this, I'll cut him off. Good job, Chris. Still on? Hold on, I'm stuck on the cleat. Still I'm on? Good. I'm good, I'm good. All right, he knows he's hooked now. It's 45 pounds of drag right there. Yeah, he's kind of going the other way, isn't he, Chris? Yeah. I know how friendly you southerners are, but he don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> Chris, you go overboard, you're done. So make sure you got a good footing, all right? I'm good, I'm all good. Right. Robbie's got me. I got you, OK? I got this. I got I it. I got you. Harness all right? Harness is perfect. Remember, we got to mark this harness. This is our test harness for you. All right, looks like he's going to want to go back to the back of the boat now. Yeah, I'm going to come back. Coming down. Chris may have hooked the shark, but bringing it in is a dangerous game. It's important that our team remains alert and ready to assist him at any moment. Well, except for Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing? There's mutton down here. Come on, stop. What? If that tangles with this line, I'm going to be mad at you. Seriously, man. That line's way back yonder, man. Look at where your line's going. You can't even control it. Put no. it down. No. Put it down. Screw you. Ah! Hey, I'll help you. I'll help you. Get away. What are you doing? I'll tell you, we're here to catch a shark. I hear you, Cap, but I was just testing a little striper rig. Uh, hello. He's going by the engines. He's going by it, the I engines. Got him, I got him. I got him. He's coming back. Get him up and around. Get him up and around. Watch out, Chris. Keep him off the boat. Off the boat. Go, 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 go. Nice dive. Good work. Good work, buddy. Good work. Nice moves, Chris. That's what wins tournaments right there. And that is why Chris is my secret weapon. Hey, Dave, I'm going to really test this tackle out. I'm going to turn this thing up. Go all the way up. If you pop it here, at least we know we can exactly. do it, Exactly. Right? I want to see what we got here. All right. Oh, now he's angry at us. This is on the surface there. Up top. Up top. Nice. It's going nuts right here. Let's get him in fast, Rob. I want to be fresh when we release him, all right? Yeah, he's tiring out. Let's get the hook out fast. I don't want to have this hook in him much longer. Nope. Right in the corner mouth, right where it's supposed to be. Oh, look how pretty he is. Ah, it's pretty thick. There he nice. goes. Nice fish. Nice, nice, nice job. Good nice job, job. John. Good job, Rob. Good job, Chris. All right. Good job, brother. Good job, brother. That's how we do it. That's the way we roll. Good job. It's a good run. Hey, Chris, I could have done better than that. Next one's mine. Here you go, Tyler. Here you go, Tyler. Give me the belt, Tyler. Give me the You know, Jerry likes to talk a big game. Hook it up. Hook it up. He loves to talk trash. It's way bigger than yours, Chris. All right, get her in. Let's see it. Way bigger, Chris. He's the only guy I know that tells fish stories before he gets it in the boat. If this thing was in the tournament, y'all be thinking dollar signs. Dollar signs. I think it's like 450, maybe 475. Talk is cheap. It's time to put up or shut up. Let's see what you got, old man. Watch y'all put everything in my way, will you? Come on, Jerry. Get the fish in here. Ah, uh, yeah, 